So the phone I got right now is the Doji Mix, and it's around 250 bucks, and it's a good deal. It's bezel-less, it gets a job done, and it feels really premium. And I would recommend this phone to anyone who's looking for a budget and bezel-less phone. Of course, it has these flaws, but you have to expect that for a phone at this cost. What I wouldn't recommend is the Doji Mix 2. That phone... Compared to the original Doji Mix, in my opinion, it's not on the same level, but apparently Doji is already working on the Doji Mix 3 and 4, and the Doji Mix 4 is rumored to be coming out in around, I would say, December 2018, which is when the Doji Mix 2 release, and the 3 would come out in June when the original Mix launched, so a bit confusing, I hope I explained that well. But basically, Doji's already working on the 3rd and 4th generation of this phone, on its one year anniversary, which is insane, but a YouTuber who I watch from time to time called Mr. Who's the Boss, he does tech videos, and he uploaded a video called Doji Mix 4 Unboxing Prototype, and he said that he was sent a Doji Mix 4 prototype, and in this video, I wanted to just discuss what I think this phone should have and what it shouldn't have. Basically, my worries and what I think Doji should try to nail with the Doji Mix 4. But first, I'm going to show some footage of this rumored Doji Mix 4 prototype. So, this is what the phone looks like on the screen. And it's basically no bezels anywhere on the screen. There is some on the edges, but there's absolutely pretty much no bezels. I think he said that there's like 97% a screen to body ratio for this phone which is absolutely insane. And you have to consider that Doji Mix phones are budget end phones. This is probably gonna cost around $300, which is incredibly good for what you're getting. Now, you're probably wondering, where is the front facing camera? Where, well, the whole gimmick is that, well, we'll find out once we actually get our hands on it, if it's a gimmick or not, where you slide up the front facing camera like other phones, like from Vivo, the rumored concept project from them, you slide up the front facing camera, it is a bit larger than I would like because just the front facing part seems a bit too large, but still, it slides well, it's actually not that finicky, and it gets the job done. Of course, you have to imagine this is not the thinnest phone in the world, but still, it's an incredibly well looking phone, and the front facing camera just adds to it. But if you want to get into all of the details on this phone, I'll have the Doji Mix 4 unboxing from Mr. Who's a Boss in the description. And I would recommend that you check it out because he did a great job of explaining the phone. But I just wanted to explain my worries for this phone. So that's going to be the whole point of this video. Alright, so let's get on to the list. So the first thing that I'm worried about is good Wi-Fi signal. Now the original Doji Mix has pretty good Wi-Fi signal, but the Mix 2, from what I've heard, it's absolutely horrible. I, I heard that you have to be right next to the router to even get a good connection, which, if that's true, that's absolutely terrible, and that's definitely on Doji's fault. But I really hope this phone does not have that issue, because that completely just broke the entire deal when the Wi-Fi signal was off. Because if you have Wi-Fi signal that's that bad, on a phone, I, I don't care what the price is. That's terrible. Th that should not be. That that sh that's horrible Wi-Fi signal. So Doji, please don't repeat your mistakes. Second is real dual cameras. Now, as you saw in the footage, this phone does have dual cameras, but the original Doji Mix and I think the Doji Mix Two, they both had dual cameras, and I think the Doji Mix Two actually had three of them, and. I'm pretty sure some of them were fake. I'm definitely sure the original Doji Mix, it has two cameras, but if you, I'm, I'm in the camera app right now. If I cover up, if I put my finger over the right camera, it doesn't show my fingers there. So what does that say? It says that the right camera is fake, which is absolutely just, that's so pathetic of a company to do something like that. So Doji this is a huge issue that you. I really hope you don't repeat. You're fixing your issues with the Doji Mix 4, at least it looks like. It's got Snapdragon and all that, so it's looking to round up better than our phones. But, come on. If you're gonna have a camera, don't fake it. 
Next on the list is wireless charging. Now, the original Doji Mix, and I think the Doji Mix 2 did not have a wireless charging. And that was disappointing because the original Doji Mix actually had Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. So it should be able to do wireless charging. But they didn't add a wireless charging sensor uh, for whatever reason. So please, Doji, it's not necessarily something that needs to be there. But still, it would be appreciated if I could just drop my phone on like a charger and it would start charging. Adding on to that is dash or fast charging. So... The original Doji Mix, it charges somewhat fast, but what I would prefer is to just be able to plug it in, turn on fast charging, or however that works, I actually haven't used fast charging yet, and just have it charge in like 25 minutes, and be at 100%, like that would be appreciated. Especially if I'm just, I need to go somewhere quickly, and I just need much to charge up my phone real quickly, that would help so much, so Doji... Please add that. That would that's just my personal opinion what I want, but still just please add it. Now this one I don't know how to feel though, and that is a slightly thinner design. Now, obviously the sliding mechanism is going to make this phone thicker, but still it looks it looks just a bit too thick. I know this is a prototype, but could you make it just a bit thinner? I'm not saying if you, like, this is just if you can, if you, you, if you don't have to, like, if you have to make it as thick as, as, th as thick as the prototype version is, just to make sure that the front-facing camera doesn't snap off and it actually feels clean, at least from the prototype, then absolutely just go for it. But if you can make it thinner, please do. But those are just my opinions, so Doji can really do whatever they want with this phone. It's totally up to them. And if they want to add maybe five headphone jacks, they can add five headphone jacks. I have no idea what they're adding, but to be honest, whatever they add, I'm still going to think this phone looks fantastic. And to be honest, you can't really beat a phone that has this little bezels at a price at around 300 bucks. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.